Good evening. It's an honor for me to share this message of Christmas with my brothers and sisters in Christ. Almost a week ago, uh, the Lord showed me something regarding Christmas that I started really rejoicing the Lord, full of hope, full of life. And uh, I gave thanks to the Lord for this great, big salvation that we have received from the Lord. For that reason, as an introduction, I have to speak about a word that uh, this word has become the word of the year in 2020. And this word, I'm sure most of us, we don't like even to hear anymore, but I have no other choice but uh, to give an introduction and explain something because it's related to what I want to share with you. And this word is pandemic. Uh, I know we are tired of this word, but as I said, I have no other choice but to speak a little bit about this. First of all, the meaning of that word, and uh, it is uh, from a, a Greek word, pan emic and uh, it's it's in dictionary it says something interesting other than the in the matter of uh, diseases and so on it says an outbreak or product of sudden rapid spread growth or development now that means it can be related to a disease or can be related to to even an ideology. Uh, for example, you know, we're living in a disease, like the, a virus that we are facing, a COVID-19, it's a disease. And there was so many diseases that happened, like a pandemic. And we see also phrases like, um, for example, racism has become recently a pandemic also. And some ideologies. Some right wings, they can become pandemic. Some left wings, they, they can become pandemic. And uh, political parties can uh, become pandemic. So, but today, I want to speak about a different pandemic. Uh, a pandemic that I believe it's more dangerous than any other pandemic that we have seen so far. And uh, I want to ask this question. Did you know that the whole world is living in a different pandemic since the fall of man? Did you know that after the fall of man, a real pandemic started? The pandemic of sin and death. Yes, a disease that ends up to death, and no one has been able to escape from this disease. No one has been seen the cure of for this disease. And the proof <clears throat> and the fact of this claim is that no one has been able to escape from death. Now, the consequence of that pandemic was a deep darkness that started to cover the whole universe. And I want to call it also pandemic of darkness. The Lord said to Adam, the moment you eat, in Genesis chapter 2, the moment you eat from the fruit of this, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, you shall surely die. And this death of Adam became a pandemic. From this point on, the pandemic of sin and death started, which is more serious than all other pandemics. I remember that our pastor used to say in some of the conferences, I'm not sure in which conference, but he said, in quote, the universality of death proves the universality of sin. In other words, the human race is in a pandemic that 
ends to death. <clears throat> Paul says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Not some, but all. This all takes us to pandemic. Yes, since the fall, humanity is in a pandemic and in darkness that there is no cure and hope for them except, which I'm going to speak about that, a vaccine that can protect them, not only to protect, but to cure them. But before I go to speak about this vaccine, I would like to speak more about this darkness. Before, I, uh, I want you to realize the reality of this darkness that covers the whole earth, not only the whole earth, but part of the heaven too. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, it says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Yes, the darkness has covered everywhere. And the, and the Word of God says, says that the whole world is in the bosom of Satan. The question is, how do we divide the world? How do we divide societies? Do we see some good part of the world, bad part of the world, good societies, bad societies, first citizens, second type of citizens, do we see the darkness in everywhere? Actually, this COVID-19 pandemic made me to see that in reality, the whole world is in the same situation. They are all in the same darkness. Are we trying to find a better place to live? A place with less darkness? I was one of them that I was, many times I... I was thinking, I wish I would have lived in Caribbean islands or other places, sometimes we think. Good weather, everything fantastic. But believe me, this pandemic made me to see the power of darkness in everywhere in the world. What hope do we have in this dark world? Where are we looking at? Which political party are we looking at? Who is our savior? Where do we put our hope? So, making these questions, I want to ask, after all, what is Christmas? Christmas is the good news of this vaccine. Jesus was, is, and will be the vaccine or antidote for this pandemic of death. You see, he said, I am the light of the world. Why he said, I am the light? Because the world was in darkness. He came as a light to this world to save humanity from this pandemic. There is no immune system that can resist to this disease of sin and death. Only this vaccine can work. Now listen what the Word of God says in Luke chapter 2 from, from verse 8 to 11. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. It was night and they were taking care of their sheep. An angel of the Lord appeared to them. And the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Today, in the town of David, Savior has been born. 
a light has arrived, a light that is going to enlighten the world. And in Matthew 4, 14 to 7, it's 17, it says <clears throat> that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea, beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people who sat in darkness, the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And upon those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. You see, the birth of Jesus Christ was the beginning that that light came to this world to deliver us from this pandemic of sin and death that has uh, imprisoned all humanity and has enslaved all humanity under his power. Yes, he is the true light that overcome this dark world. He is the one who has delivered us from the real pandemic. He is the true vaccine and antidote that has been and is able to save humanity from this horrible pandemic. This is the good news of Christmas. The real hope of humanity. He is the one that can heal all our wounds. He is the one that can feel our emptiness. He is the one who can enlighten our darkness. He is the hope of glory. He is the real vaccine. He is the one that has overcome death, the, the, the real pandemic. Where are we looking at? Let's not be driven by the force of darkness. I'm speaking with the Christians, my brothers and sisters. Let's not be driven by the powers of darkness. We are children of light. Let's walk as children of God in light. Let's not be driven by the winds of politics from one side to other side. Let's put our hope in the Lord. He is the one that delivers us. He is the one that cures us from this disease, from this pandemic of sin and death. He is the one. He is the mystery. He is the gift that was given to all humanity. He is, he is the hope of Christmas. This is the day that we want to celebrate and give thanks to the Lord for what he has done for humanity, for every one of us. It says in Colossians 1, 26, 28, the mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations, but now has been revealed to his saints. To them God willed to make known that are the riches of the glory of his, this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you the hope of glory. Christ in us, that light. Christ in us, that vaccine that, that saves us from this horrible pandemic. We may say, I have my doubts. We may say, I still don't see perfectly. I know something is there. I know, but I have so many problems. I don't see properly. Well, Paul says to Corinthians, in this way. Now we see things imperfectly, like puzzling reflections in a mirror. But then we will see everything with perfect clarity. All that I know now is partial and incomplete. But then I will know everything completely, just as God know, now knows me completely. You see, there is hope. That's the hope of glory. That we might not see clearly everything. That maybe light, still we have 
parts in our lives that maybe we think it is dark and we don't see properly. But it says the Lord is working in our lives to take us towards that perfection. There is great hope for those who are in Christ Jesus. There is great hope for those who are in Christ Jesus. Let us put our hope in everything, in everything, in Christ, the hope of glory. I wish you a Merry Christmas to all of you, and I wish you a Happy New Year, a year full of revelation, a year full of blessings of God in our lives. May God bless you.